Cai pra dentro, sua aberração. Hey everyone, my name is Fergus, I'm from Ireland, I'm a double tech motor finalist and I'm here to teach you Katarina Alves. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dashlight for more character guides and check out the website for all things FGC. Deixa eu te testar pra ver se você luta de verdade. So let's talk about her key moves, what you should be doing that neutral with the character. I'm not going to go every move, but I'm going to go with the really important ones, so let's get right into it. So her jab, pretty, pretty standard for jab, you know, plus one on block, plus eight on hit, pretty generic. It does have good reach, however, because she moves forward a little bit when she does it, so it has good reach. Also, it's just really good follow-ups afterwards. So one four is good because it's a quick low poke out of, out of a jab. If they're, if they're not looking out for it, they're going to get hit, right? Another one is 1-1, one, one. so 1-1 one, one goes into Harrier, it's an option for a 10 frame punish, and it goes into Harrier. Another option is 1-1-1, um, one, 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 which is a mid option after 1-1, one, one. so the third one is a mid, and on counter hat, it gets a free up back 4, so it's really good to like kind of keep them in check, uh, keep them honest. Another option that you have is 1-1-2, one, one, plus 7 on block, it is a high, so they can duck it, however if you do the... 1-1-1 one, one, one mids, you'll catch them ducking, right? So, and 1-1-2 one, one, on counter hit is a counter hit launcher. So, use the chop strings well, ferry up the timing, and catch your opponent off guard. Another move you should use with her is down foot one. Down foot one because it's a, she moves forward. 13 frame mid poke, pretty standard. She moves forward. It has good track in the plus frames. It has a natural follow up with down foot one one, which goes into Harrier, which I'll talk about later on. And uh, it's just generally a really good mid poke to kind of check, keep your opponents in check with. Like every character, down front one, most characters, down front one is something that you want to use a lot to poke with. So, down front one for sure. Uh, back one is another move that you want to use. 14 frame mid poke. It goes into Harrier. It's our best transition into Harrier stance, which I'll talk about more later on again. Uh, it has back one too. Back one too is good because it tracks really well. It's 14 frame, it's natural combo. It loops into itself. So if they press mash, if they mash, step or duck, you'll you'll counter hit them and you'll catch them. She has back one one as well, which I'll just keep use keep it in combos. Don't use it in neutral much in my opinion, it's not that good. But back one two for sure. And back one into Harrier as well is good to use. Another move you want to use is Den 3. Den 3 is really, really good because it's zero and hit. It's 16 frames, so it's pretty fast for a low poke. Um <clears throat> It's only Maz level on block, and also it tracks both ways really well. It doesn't have the homing spark, but it might as well be homing. If they try to punish the down three by itself, even though it's only Maz level, if they try to punish it, you can interrupt them with down three three, which is a mid option. So they try to punish the while standing four, and they'll get counter it by the follow up. Now, not only that, she has a high ex follow up as well with down three four. It's only minus one on block, so it's really good on block. If they try to punish what the down three by itself, they'll get counter hit by the high follow up into a free up back four. So it's a quite beefy follow up, right? So it's a really, really, really good, really good low poke, in my opinion. Another move you want to use with her is back three. Back three is nice because it's 12 frame. It has really good reach. It's safe on block as well, which is pretty rare for a 12 frame mid poke. So it's pr for a 12 frame mid, it's pretty rare to beat safe. So really really strong and on counter hit you get a lot of plus frames to work with nothing is guaranteed but you get a lot of plus frames to work with and that's especially good against the wall because if you go to the wall they cannot um, low parry down three so they don't have the frame advantage to low parry down three so it's really strong at the wall mid screen is not going to work because they're too far right but against the wall they cannot low parry down three in range so very 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 good move to use back three to like interrupt your opponent with and just poke with in general. Another move you want to use is four 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 four. Now this is Katarina's like infamous magic four combo. So why this move is nice is because it's damaging for a magic four. As you can see, you get a big combo afterwards. It goes into Harrier. Um, if you if they try to interrupt the Harrier stance, you can do um Harrier one which will counter hit them 
and uh, you can combo off four by itself. So if they're if they're looking at if they're looking to kick parry this or step it or do something better, right? So you can do standing four by itself and get and the combo is tricky. So it will take some practice, but you can get you can convert off it for sure. <clears throat> Another move you want to use, and in my opinion, this is Katarina's best move or one of her best moves, and it's kind of like a Mimi move, but extremely good. It's her, it's her three, 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 fourteen frame, mid poke. Uh, you can hit confirm the string. So from, if you're on point, from the first two hits, you can hit confirm it. So the first two hits are safe, and if you're on point, you can hit confirm just from the first two hits on its own, because if you do three, three, three on the third hit. It's minus 10, so it is actually unsafe. So I would try and I recommend train yourself to um, punish with the, uh, or train yourself to hit confirm from the two hits to be safe and get really, really beefy 14 frame hit confirm string that's in mid, right? And it's good for whip punisher as well. The range is quite good, so it's a really good whip punisher as well. <clears throat> Another move is down for four, down for four because it's a 15 frame mid counter at launcher. So if you get some plus frames, such for example one one two on block, you can dump for four afterwards, and then if they try to press something, they'll get counter hit. So you want to use this when you get reads on your opponent's uh, timings, and when you get read on their um, attack tendencies and patterns and timings, you can use this to counter hit them. So that's when you want to use it. Similar to Magic Four, do it when you think your opponent's gonna challenge you or disrespect you. Another move that you want to use with her, getting into a crouching game a little bit is FC down for 4. FC down for 4 is good because it's a low, it's a chunky low, it's fast as something for him, it's plus on hit. On counter hit, you get a free stomp afterwards for pretty beefy damage. To complement this, you want to do 3, th well, standing 3, 3, 3, 3, exactly the same as 3, 3, 3, right? It's just from crouch. It does a little bit more damage, but otherwise it's exactly the same, so, so try and hit confirm it. Right, let's talk about Harrier stance in the next topic. So let's talk about Katarina's Harrier stance quickly. This is like her stance, right? This is exclusive to Katarina. She has a bunch of translations that goes into it, but the main one I'm gonna talk about is back one. The back one is good because, for example, back one into Harrier one is natural on counter hit, but also it's her fastest transition into Harrier. So there's some stuff that the opponents can't deal with in this transition compared to other ones like down two, four, 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 four into it, one, one, one into it, or whatever, right? Back one is, gives her the best options out of it. So, for example, back one into Harrier one is natural on, on counter hit. And if they try to interrupt back one on block into Harrier one, they eat this whole sequence on counter hit. So it's a pretty beefy. So when they start trying to dick chab under the Harrier one, which is one answer for it, you can do stuff like Harrier off for three, which is the mid. And on normal hit, it gives this, it gives this on normal hit, right? Up back four follow up. So that's when they try to. That's when they start um, dick job into high crush harrier one. Now when they start respecting you and just taking the mix up, you can do stuff like back one into higher down for three, which is like a jumping low, and you can use this to mask the animation of the higher down for three. So higher up for three looks like higher down for three because she jumps in both animations, right? So you can kind of use that as a mix up. However, you don't even have to do higher stuff as well. So if they're respecting you. Or they're trying to do the side side right dog option select. You can do stuff like back one into harrier cancel, into crouching, into the full crouch cancel. And that's when you can do your FC game. Like I said earlier, you can bully them with FC down for four while standing four, F while standing three, 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 three. So you can bully the opponent with the FC options as well as the harrier transitions. So you don't, it doesn't have to be harrier moves. It can be crouching into FC game. Another move that you can use out of harrier is um, harrier. Sorry, Harrier 4, which is the wall bend. So if they're like hard ducking, you can use the 4 to uh, wall bend them. So like kind of mix up the higher stance well. But those, she has some other stuff out of Harrier, but they're not very good in my opinion. So I would use the ones I just mentioned. Like she has Harrier down for 2, down for 2, 3, which is mainly used for combos. She has Harrier 3, but it's like a snake age kind of fake low. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. She has Harrier 2. But um, it's uh, not that useful in neutral. So your moves I've mentioned, stick to those moves for sure. So yeah, that's kind of like Harrier in a nutshell. Back one's her best transition into it, and she's good options out of it once you get your opponent to respect it. Yeah. 
If you have rage, you can do this instead. For a lot of damage. So let's go over her strengths and her weaknesses very quickly. So her strengths, as you can probably see with the combos, use really good wall carry and really good damage output in general. Those are definitely her main things. Her pokes are quite strong. You saw her downward one, her down three, great tracking, great range, great poking. So she's a very good damaging poke heavy character. She's a bit similar to Steve when you think about it. But in terms of weaknesses though, I would say that her lows are not the best. Like down three is super good, but it's not gonna win you games. You know, so we're not really gonna rob you games. Like FC down for four is good as well. But it's quite unsafe. It is launch punch blown block. As you can see, at minus 16, it is launch punch blown block. So, if she's on a life deficit and the opponent's patient, it can be difficult to make a comeback with Katarina. So, that's kind of her weakness, I would say. So, that would kind of summarize her strengths and weaknesses. Great carry, great damage, great pokes. Just a bit hard to make comebacks with. You can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you liked this video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. And thank you for watching.